Hey everyone, it's Steve from The Garden. In today's video, I'm going to give you my five tips to help you plan your garden for the next year. As you think about your garden plans for the coming year, my number one thing is, what do you want to get out of the garden? Do you want to just eat fresh from the garden? Do you want to preserve any of your harvest? Are you looking to save money by gardening? You know, each one of those things can lead you down a little bit different path as far as, you know, what you grow and how you go about growing it. If you're thinking about your goals for the garden for the coming year, my number two thing is, do you have a new theme or a new method you want to try out? Just for an example, maybe in a part of your garden you want to grow a particular color, like purple, orange, or yellow. And then all the plants or fruits in that part of the garden will all be that color. So just for an example, for purple, you would grow maybe purple potatoes, eggplant, carrots, purple beans instead of green beans. You know, all those can be grown with a variety that comes in purple. For myself, I did a theme where I wanted to like consolidate what I was growing, where I was gonna grow fewer tomatoes and more potatoes. And with over 200 pounds of potatoes harvested this year, I certainly accomplished that goal, while still meeting my preservation goals to have enough tomatoes and tomato sauce to last me through to, to the next season. Another example of this would be, maybe you wanna have a salsa garden. When I was first starting out with growing food, I only had a really small growing space, so I decided well, I wanted to make a salsa garden out of that area. So within there I grew you know, some tomatoes, a variety of peppers of different colors, and I grew onions. And then that year, you know, I made a bunch of salsa and I canned it for the first time. And we enjoyed that all the way through football season. My number three thing is, are you growing any herbs to help you with your cooking? You know, buying fresh herbs like basil, oregano, thyme, they're expensive when you buy them fresh, you know? So if you can grow them in your own garden, you know, that saves a lot of money if you enjoy using those kind of things in your cooking. And some of those are perennial, so they'll come back every year. Even in my zone five, the oregano, the thyme, you know, chives, they will all come back every year. My number four thing is learning about the plants that you want to grow. This is particularly important if you're new to gardening so that you learn the conditions, the soil and light requirements that each of the plants need so that you have the best chance for success in your garden. You know, some plants need warm weather, some need cool weather, some need more sunlight, some need less. Just an example there is like lettuce will grow well in the cool weather in full sun, but during the heat of summer, it's best to grow it in a spot that gets more shade so that the lettuce doesn't go the flower right away. Things like cilantro, they only grow really in the cool weather because they bolt right away during the warm season. My fifth thing is record your garden plan. Now that can be as simple or as detailed as you want it to be, but as long as you can make some sort of a plan, it helps you stay organized and on schedule to meet your goals for your, for your garden. I use Excel because it allows me to map out every square foot of the garden, keep track of my seed starting schedules, and just helps me stay organized. I hope these tips help you out. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something out of this. And we'll see you on the next one.